Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Curious Con Man, and welcome to Kaiser Redux. Oh boy, look at that sexy George Washington right there. He's crossing the Delaware River to go find the nearest In-N-Out Burger. Sorry to tell you, bud, but the far west they go is Texas. So, who are we going to be playing as today? Now, uh, that is a very good question. And I, I had an idea that, hey, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to play Ayn Rand, Alaska. And I'm going to become Objectivist Utopia. I'm going to conquer all the world. And then I thought, you know what? That's a bit cringe. So, electing not to create Bioshock in real life, I decided that today we're going to play something a little more sane, a little more tame. Uh, yes. Transmer is home to the People's Tsar, Soviet, Labor, Monarchism, yada 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 bullcrap. Ah, uh, yes, I love looking at this amalgamation of random colors and borders and lines. Uh, it seems so familiar, yet so disorienting, I'll never get used to it. Thanks, Germany. What a beautiful world you created. So, yes, I welcome you to the Far Eastern Republic of Transmere. Wow. What a name, cowboy. What a name. And, oh, would you look at that? Alexander Kochak, the supreme ruler of Russia. As he was in real life, of course, I feel like you're a bit overshadowed by a western neighbor of yours. And he is, of course, the supreme ruler of this state and our wonderful admiral dictator. Yes, and as comes with the title, he gobbled up as much of the eastern seaboard as possible so that Russia can't have any. It got croatia -ed. And unlike Croatia, we have sentenced ourselves to be a Japanese rump state. Ah, delicious. Yummy. I feel like Wadong. Don't worry, it's just barely a symbiotic relationship. Oh, look at that guy. Hopefully nothing bad ever could possibly happen to him. Well, you know the drill. I think it's time we start a union of Madrasi. Why, I'd love that. I'd love to learn about so much stuff. Long story short to learn from this is that our wonderful nation is, of course, not entirely populated by Russians. A lot of these people are, of course, minorities, and Kolchak gained power in his coup by promising rights to minorities. Will he hold up his end of the bargain? Only dime will tell. Hey guys, you're starving. How about let's, let's move out of that, shall we? Let's go where someplace a little bit nicer. Yes, of course. You know, this. Siberian forests are- oh, I was about to say that, you know, there's some Siberian tigers here today, it's actually kind of forested, protected. And, but it looks like that Kerensky is dead, and Milyakov is lacking a face. At least we're of decent size and have leader portraits, kind of. Oh, hold on a second, this guy looks really interesting. Of course, it's a wonderful mix and blend of absolute monarchy, Soviet democracy, orthodox integralism, Russian nationalism, and the revolutionary spirit, and whatever crazy wacky stuff the YouTube algorithm is thrown at these 14-year-old children who wrote it to get it hooked on the newest ideology fad thing. I switch between them like they're monster drinks. Yeah, yeah. if you're, you're not collecting them all, you're not doing it right. Oh, and what? Holy crap! We got horses! Irregular cavalry, I believe? Yes. So, thank you, Konstantin Frolov. I'll take your 500, 500 guns in that division and send it to the wonderful army. And let's see, how high quality are the portraits? Well, they ain't bad. They ain't bad at all. And goodness gracious, a new king definitely wasn't a collaborator for the Nazis in real life. Yes, I'm very educated. I've played DNL. And of course, sent agitators into Siberia. Chance of war? I actually have no idea. I th hmm. You know what? I'll do it. Yeah. Boom. Let's hope. Holy crap. It was great. We have guns and men. What could be more lovely than that? And of course, let's use our wonderful military industrial complex to industrialize more of Vladivostok, our wonderful capital of the Far East. Oh, good heavens. I actually do have to worry about this shit. Oh, wow, that's extensive. Oh, oh, man. Holy crap. Oh, hey, formal nation. Would you look at that? Those exiles really were a good decision. Yippee. Yes, we did it. You took the most modest and selfless approach of declaring yourself the supreme reader of Russia just because Kerensky sold himself out to the Germans. All right, whatever. Uh, hmm, hmm. Well, uh, Syndicalus, not in my house. People's Revolutionary Army. Okay, that's just, yeah, that's a, that's a no. I'm sorry about that. We're too busy, you see, making naval bases in my Capitals, yes, you get the idea. And at the same time, let's support an anti Japanese rally, shall we? <clears throat> Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. You see, I tried to give Kolchak a little bit of a makeover, but honestly, I don't know how much I like it. Oh, 
What if, what if we made him just, oh boy, would you look at that. Cool, Jack, you're looking, you're looking. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. He looks like he's from the Halo franchise, but otherwise, I like it. Wait, did I really... Did I... Did I really just fuck up? We're still... Well. Uh... <clears throat> oopsies. M my bad. God dang it, they've been reading too much of Ted Kaczynski. Oh my god, you gotta, you guys gotta stop that. Oh my god, okay, so I'm gonna... I, I accepted their demands, hoping that maybe they'll shut up. Give them breaks that are longer than 10 minutes. Now you can use the bathroom while you work, alright? How- There you go, will you finally not revolt? Yeah, um, yeah, I'm sorry about this mic, I had to switch it out real quick, I'm getting the new one fixed. Hey, there's time lapses later in the video though. Yeah, sorry guys, I know that I promised that you would have some autonomy, at least. You may not be citizens, but we can give you autonomy. And, well, uh... Sorry about that, but that's gonna be a nope. And oh, guys, stop it! Stop it! I'm. That's it. I'm infiltrating your cells. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm destroying the NR NRA before it's too late. The People's Revolutionary Army gone, as well as my warrior. I know. I know. I know. I know. It doesn't. It doesn't sound bad, but but hear me out. Hear me out. He's bald. Oh, those people, the gall they have to exist in their land before us. Ugh, okay. They demand more? Well, we better keep to those demands, right? Right? Psych. Ha ha ha. That's not what I'll do. See, the trick is that I lie. Oh boy, guys, look, it's a, uh, it's a George Valois and Oswald Mosley, and we got two totalists. I know that nothing could ever possibly happen bad to our international here now that they're full-blown communists. Oh no, I've been treating the, you know, the, uh, the minorities so poorly that they've done a anti-coup. How could you hate that beautiful beard? Oh well, I tried my best to placate the Japanese, but it seems that they didn't help us here. So seize power and restore democracy. Oh, sorry, I accidentally clicked that. Now we got an Iranian dude. I, it's it's a long story. Just don't worry about. Do you know Charles Curtis is actually uh, part Native American? Yeah. Anyways, <clears throat> so you're Iranian dude, right? The Tsar and the Soviets. I know you're just you're just pissing your pants. <laughs> we got the monarcho Bolsheviks. How could you not love that? And unfortunately, no, well, that means that we get to play, get to destroy more of the minorities' land and build more factories. Lovely. So yes, welcome to the labor monarchy led by our famous Azerbaijani aristocrat, <clears throat> Alexander Kazembek. He has fled to Transmir after, in, in the, following the coup attempted. Well, here he is. Boom. Socialism with a little bit, a little mix of monarchism. You just, you just, I, 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 I have nothing else. It's, it's wacky as hell. I mean, we can't be the only one, right? Come on. Look at these guy. Look. That's monarcho socialism, I think. He's the king of the syndicalists. How cool is that? We're not the only ones in this world, guys. Little would have predicted that Alexander and Kazimbek would end up in the position that he is today, the leader of an entire country. So the brunt of the Russian Revolution, and well, it undoubtedly shaped his views. Though the Red Revolution failed, he incorporated Soviet ideals into his young Russia movement. Now he's the voice of the rump state. Oh man. The only rump we're getting is the Japanese. So, uh, maybe just again? This happened last game. Good lord, Lenin's brother. No, well, I suppose they can sit there in their water humanitarian crisis, and we can sit over here with our super cool ball and flag. Hey, at least we're cool enough that we ensured the loyalty of the Czechs. So, well, uh,. Yay, boom, the Czech Legion. Don't worry, Czechoslovakian legionaries are part of our wonderful government. Where are you? Uh, what do Czech names look like, actually? I should know, it's probably Andrestry. I don't know, this guy seems pretty cool. He's part of the group now, congratulations. No, 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 Curtis, what? Curtis, Curtis, what the fu- Oh, these two, oh my god. How am I supposed to have any fun here now? I have to worry about... Okay, game's over. Fun's over. Charles Curtis, congratulations. You did it, big boy. 
You saved the United States. Despite my efforts, it's something that, really, it's, it's admirable. A happy go fellow, a market liberal economy on the rise, it's almost picture perfect. So, ah, uh, well, I, it would suck if anything possibly bad happened. Get fucked. And I don't, I don't mean, I don't mean screw you, I mean really. I mean, really, screw you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Congratulations, Texas. Con <laughs> God damn it. Um. Nothing? I don't, I don't even go to the United States, but I still want, I mean, like, I'm, you know, like, I'm Russia. Like. Good motherfucking day. Of course, everyone's favorite rough, tough Starian. He's the kind of guy who says, if my son comes out as trans, I no longer have a son. And of course, we gotta quickly figure out who the heck our allies are, because, you know, with monarcho Bolsheviks, they don't exactly have many friends. They kind of offend everyone. And, uh... Electric King. Oh, I'm, I wonder, who's the, like, Prime Minister of Ukraine right now? I wanna... Ooh. That's, uh... What a... What a weird world we got going on there. Again, uh, again, uh, thank you so much for getting us into power there, so Siberian Regionalist. Let me repay you back. Yeah, okay, bye. As much as I like to recreate modern day politics, I think I'm gonna ally with the super cool Czech legionaries. Yes, yippee. Sorry, not, uh, not these goofy guys. I want this goofy guy in my club and make my entire government led by the wonderful Czech people what's not to like their devil czar nicholas ii is by far the worst czar having allowing his wife to be seduced by the devil rescue and doing nothing about it Mwahaha. demanded yada 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 see deception that's a pretty funny i'm gonna be my honest with you anyways yes we condemned the white army Ugh, disgusting anyways let's go enact a song show social monarchy how lovely is that gonna be oh my god that gets me tingling oh beautiful sexy I just love traditional proletariat The fuck even is that? Glad they enacted this feature so I can truly figure out who my czar will be and also the true guy in charge. What? From Azerbaijan to Transmar, how could you not? Cool. This is the TNO guy, right? Hi, right, correction, this this guy, Karel, is the father of Vladimir the Third. How cool is that? I think that's way too cool, right? I still gotta play that. Is that a fun path in TNO? Like, is TNO even fun to play anymore? I mean, like, should I wait for the next DLC? I haven't played Gridnog. Yeah, it's like Brittany, you know? That's the funny thing, right? You kill the man, not the idea, though. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I shouldn't say, I, sorry. I shouldn't say that it's not fun anymore. It, it is fun. They've added more stuff. They've added more content. It's always been fun. I had, probably because I haven't played uh, the USA yet. Maybe then it would be fun. Maybe it's just because I've only played here and here and that's it. And oh boy, the nobility. Maybe I'm being an idiot. I don't know. What? I could elevate the uh, actual politicians or the hardest workers. I think we know the correct choice there. The hardest workers. So I can finally have some sense of upward mobility within our nation, you know? Oh no, this I couldn't agree more with. Zamenkov is nothing more than a dirty and evil Bolshevik who aligned himself with the devil. The satanic devil worshipping nationalists who would bring Russia to ruin and kill everything we dare. Lol. I guess that whole uh, Mosley and Valoy bit was a bit of a pesky foreshadowing, wouldn't, uh, wouldn't you say? Kinda took the L the- oh! Robert the Br Robert the Fourth, I mean. Three, uh, sorry, 300 years of Britain and T- T.E. Lawrence, what the f- Whoa, good lord. A strong Vizoid requires an equally strong army, an army loyal no matter what challenges they may face, an army that will stand shoulder to shoulder, prepared to die for their leader and nation. Yeah, you get the idea. A thousand times before. Anyways, now let's continue to do the good old dictatorship cult of personality, yippee guy yay All right, ladies and gentlemen, the uh, one faithful declaration of war later, Stephen Birch of the Alaskan Syndicate not syndicalists, there's a difference, is gonna come begging to his knees. I've been sitting here for a good year, and I've had no war, nothing, zero, nada. So with the wonderful Kolchak still alive, somehow, I, I, I guess we let him chill. Uh, <clears throat> he's taking our entire fleet, and he is moving. Oh. 
entire fleet, and he is moving north to cross the Bering Strait. Yes, 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 to finally invade and put down the Alaskans. Finally, we will gain a territory and colony that was rightfully ours to begin with. Now, we sure legally sold off for money, but the... Come on, guys, I, uh, I gotta pander to these people somehow. I mean, social monarchism isn't exactly the hardest, the easiest sell. Of course, I skip the easy stuff. That's exactly what they'd be expecting. You gotta go straight for the capital, straight for the heart, the longest possible trip, because otherwise they won't take you seriously. I, I swear. That's my pride of the, what even is my pride of the fleet? It is the General Campbell, a wonderful, uh, what is that? Is that a light? Is that a light cruiser? Yes, yes. Alaska is finally ours because they have nobody here. Where their one division is, I have no idea. And they have a surprising amount of factories. Look at that. Holy crap. I'm going to get up there. I'm going to colonize it like crazy. You know, the whole nine yards. And, uh, geez, that was easy, huh? How much longer before they capitulate? It kind of like took everything that really mattered. Sorry, Earl. Sergei Votovsky, the Czech nationalist, is here, and he's here to take all of your stuff. So I was just coming over here to look at a certain innocent conflict, you know what I mean, Nikita Khrushchev versus uh, Gorilov in this area. And did you know that? that? That's not a mistake. There's actually a town in Ukraine called New York. It was named after an American, uh, is the name was chosen by an American woman, I believe. Uh, so, you know. That's pretty cool. Looked it up. Yeah, and status update, we're just kicking the hell out of these Alaskans. They didn't stand a chance. And I'm telling ooh, Red Flood, how funny. And I'm telling you, that wonderful economy there is just going to be all mine. Yummy. Voila. Beautiful. We are a little bit bigger. I think that is pretty well for ourselves. It's going to be a useful addition to territory, you know what I mean? It makes our influence just that much grander. Oh, and would you look at that? He was elected president, but the, well... No wizards. Ugh. They're gone. And now we have Herman Poole Blunt. Wonderful. Afro future. Okay, that's a bit funky. Boom, we got Soviet democracy. Uh, what could be more lovely than that? Because there's only one name on the ballot. <clears throat> Why would you need anything else? Oh, would you look at that? It's so good to see his face double up there. Mm, what a sexy jawline. There, uh, um, <clears throat> right, anyways, where were we? Right, Spirit of the Revolution. That's where I was. Right, of course. Yeah, as much as I'd love to do Eurasian Brotherhood, I think the Czechs were probably a good call. Well, actually, mostly because, well, the Czechs, they gave me a... <laughs> A rail gun right here. Well, would you look at that? I think, didn't they have like an armored train in real life? Something funny like that. You know what I mean? Anyways, we sent him to Alaska. Oh, yes. So I decided finally we have culminated in the revolution of the spirit. I have no idea what this secret event is, but now I will. No, it's not Molly declaring war of the French Soviet Republic. It is. Russia was a land that had once lost its identity, morals, and spirit. A decaying corpse of a once great empire. A truly sad state for any patriot of the motherland. But however, all is not lost. God, that was that's really hard to read. In a darkest hour, there stood one man who could quietly go to the night. Alexander gets up the the Azerbaijani dude. Yippee Kaye. That's a lot of propaganda to read. You get it. Oh, it was, it was on the front of the newspaper. Guess I uh I gotta proclaim a rival government now, don't I? Yippee! I don't exactly think I'm quite there yet. I might need to mobilize a few guys and... Oh, they're stuck in an internal war of Ukraine. Actually, that might be really up. Okay, so we've declared ourselves the rival government. Because uh, I feel like we got enough power now, you know what I mean? We got Alaska, how cool is that? Well, let's see if I can just scoop up your desk. Real cool, like the entirety of Lake Bagal. You think you think I could do it? You think I could do it? I think I could do it. Oh, wait, you serious? Like, really? That was quite easy. Goodness gracious! Why? Thank you so much. I feel like that that unlocks a couple focuses. I'm not gonna lie. Seriously? No. Oh, I guess that whole death is finally thing makes sense. Well, that's kind of sad. He's gonna kick the bucket. Goodbye, Krill. It was great to see you. Now we have Vlad... Vladimir. Oh, what a, what a, I like the color scheme, like the mustache. Holy crap, he makes my knees weak for social monarchism. Is it just me, or do I like, I hate old guard 
and, and politically connected with a passion. I just like, it, you see how good these guys are? I just, I'll avoid them because I like organizer. I like um, logistics wizard, right? So, <clears throat> but like, ugh, I just, I just can't pick it because I'm like, I feel like you're, oh, holy shit. One white guy with blonde hair versus another white guy with blonde hair. It's in Lawrence of Arabia, I thought he had blonde hair. Anyways, the eternal slug fest over here is continuing okay well i'm just gonna say what are the casualties on holy shit well i uh brand new day recording and i guess oh sweet najid i mean i gotta figure out a perfect time to intervene and rush whoa with their bumbling in yogaine because obviously they can't take them for some reason how strong are you guys holy shit okay <clears throat> So maybe uh, we wait for a couple divisions to pop out, and then we go to war. Honestly, is there a decision to go to war? I think there's a decision to go. Yes. Shit out a bunch of cavalry divisions so I can go speedy Gonzales on these these guys. Oh, I don't have enough men. What are you talking? About? Actually, uh, well, um, they just peaced out. So I should probably move quickly. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to attack the Petra. Oh, never mind. No, are they in the Reich's Pact? Okay, I thought they were for a minute. So I guess now is the time. So let's see, two arms right now, a month, half year, or a year. Honestly, I think the time is now. We need to move. I keep forgetting about that. Vladimir the Third and his good friend Alexander Kazembeck. Oh, don't worry about that. Our labor monarchy is ready for a fight. Now, where the hell is everyone else? Seriously, like, where's, uh, where's all their guy? Oh, holy shit. Thank you. Looks like Lenin's, uh, Lenin's, you know, Lenin's, uh, Lenin's, uh, brother is gonna help me out here. Nice, sweet. Thanks, man. Jeez, Louise. Oh, would you look at that. Now that is something sexy. Ten old divisions. Oh my god, that's a lot of infantry. Well, that's what you get for not caring about your fight in the east here. Ho ho ho. Oh god. This is gonna be easy steamroll for Vladimir the Third. So this guy is, uh, if you look at him, he is a Cossack leader. So that means his irregular cavalry is really good, as well as regular cavalry so, and well, everything. So I decided to fat, fill this guy full of fat irregular cavalry divisions so he can go speedy along with those tanks. Hopefully they can get to the front in time.
Sinne pääsee staali ja muutkin huijari. Politurki, komissaari, pehdeskoijari. Oh boy, now this, this is what I like to call sexy man. No, my fellow monarcho Bolsheviks, what the hell? God damn Germans, looks like I'm gonna have to come for those social democrat parts. Oh shit, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like you know, more troops are going to come to us. To Come on, Finland, you couldn't stick it out through the whole thing? Uh, all this means is that I'm going to have to go over there and kick their ass for more of my stuff. You know what I mean? Because, you know, that's a, it's a bit unacceptable, I'm going to be quite honest with you. This encirclement, though, that's fine by me. Oh, would you look at that? Our beautiful tank division has captured you, Gatherinburg. Victory is going to be ours. Yes. Soldiers of the Siberian Army once again have marched through the city. Siberia, my home. Oh, that's actually awesome. Like, of course. Oh, look at that beautiful factory number. It's delicious. Oh, my God. Wait, can I, can I award this guy, like, a, a medal? Heck, yeah. Maybe, maybe now I can. There you go. Good job. I thought my game crashed. It was just the uh, war in the East Asia Minor. It's uh, ended. Sucks to suck Ottomans. Of course, it reminds me I should probably save so I don't get bummed or anything. Now, why on earth would you do- You serious? Yowzas. Sucks to be a federalist. I know I shouldn't be the one talking about wacky ideologies, but- <coughs> See, it made me sneeze. It's so weird. What on earth? Why the tanks are doing good in the mountains, I have no idea. There we go. See, green. We are doing so well, single-handedly taking out all these guys down here in the Turks mountains. And, uh, well, their army went from, you know, a million to that. And I am only growing stronger. So, <laughs> ouch. Gonna be honest. Oh, lovely. I don't really think they ever stood a chance. I'm gonna be quite honest. Not with Finland against... But, Lenin's brother! Where'd he go? Heck yeah, I know we're already winning this war, but we're gonna need good guns in the future. So I got my beautiful improved small plane with heavy machine guns, more cannons. Oh, this guy is gonna be a beast. And uh, try and get a cast too. How could you not trust a beautiful <laughs> airplane engine just like that? Sex. Oh, we got the f the flying spruce goose over here. Is gonna have flying boat, and we're gonna also have to make sure that the special mantra will substitute wood and fabric wherever we can. We're making World War One bombers. You see, I'm gonna need a big fancy guy going on here because, well, 
were too similar of a color to Finland. And that's just gotta go. Like, why is there so many white people? God dang it, my fighter industrial complex is going to get rid of my nation's entire military capabilities. And my nation's entire consumer capabilities, because I need to buy so much foreign crap. Never I've been, never have I been so happy to, to reach the Black Sea. Yippee. Sorry. <clears throat> As of C, my apologies. Now, I know what you're thinking. This has been an eternal slog fest where you've unnecessarily killed millions of people due to attrition up in the north. And if you thought that, then you're probably right. But hey, I'm not the idiot who brought a tank up here. I brought a regular cavalry. Seriously, what the hell are they, what the hell are they thinking? And oh, oh, okay, taking bets. Uh, well, that was easy <laughs> for them. How, how's, how's the war going? I couldn't tell you who's winning. Th thanks for telling me Sakim's at war game. Oh, would you look, 24 divisions. I'm trying to act surprised. I couldn't see these coming anywhere. So if you don't mind me, I'm gonna throw in this wonderful regular cavalry and you're going, <laughs> you're going to the Eastern, sorry, Western front. Still equally as cold as the East. Look, ladies and gentlemen, we liberated Kharkiv. D I just ignore that the fact that there's tanks in the way of getting reserves, so guess I am terrible at supply. Alright, I got a solution to rectify our terrible oil, you know, uh, import issue, and it's just build a bunch of synthetic refineries. Baby, it gives us rubber, too. Bit ironic that our irregular cavalry's taking the railroad, but you know what? I don't judge. Why do they make these territories so, like, provinceful? You're, you're not simulating modern day here. You really didn't need to add New York. I'm just saying, when my Siberian War looks like that, and their Siberian War looks like that, I feel like... There's gonna be a clear winner here. Oh, I didn't even notice. I was trying to take a certain peninsula, but oh, would you look at that? A uh, makeshift p- oh. Okay, well, this is a dark day for the Russian Democratic Federation, but a good day for us. Yippee guy. So, uh, I still have to deal with the Japanese for some reason. I, I don't get that, but you know what? It's fine. Shall I change your capital to maybe Moscow? Maybe your trisk? No. <laughs> Glad of those dogs in my home. Don't worry, we're just uh, tying up loose ends. I gotta love how th these guys are the ones who tra ban trade unions, but well, the Russian people have decided that I am the one with. Oh, that's so good. I just. Yeah. I guess when you're at this point, it's kind of hard to tell who the true Russian government. No, it's not. Oh, it sucked to. Uh, uh, people would kill me if I didn't say it, but boom, we got Petrograd. So really, their government should collapse in any minute now. What do I need to take? I need to take Tropitz. I need to take Homo. Well, Kursk. Well, I'm just patiently watching that one irregular cavalry division approach Smolensk. And 98. God dang it. Why is it? Okay, he's going to beat it. He's going to beat it. We'll tell this guy to go around. Let's see? Perfect. God dang it. What they take back? They, they take back St. Petersburg, you son of a god damn what the hell okay now well uh sucks to suck kornilov uh may have a mysterious past but i don't it was straight from vladivostok to here and i'll happily take your entire navy your entire nation see how could you possibly say no to me i'm such a nice individual i let lenin exist I'm kidding, I'm gonna take him out right now. Where were we? Right! Yes! Transmer, you're- Oh, sorry, have I had that on the whole time? Alright. Transmer, you are beautiful, big, and surrounded by so many people who are actually of a similar color scheme to you. So, how do I recognize myself as the legitimate government? Siberian scientist. You serious? I gotta- Okay, well, fine, fine. Just, uh, don't question. I was looking away and I second monitor and I was startled by that pipe falling sound, right? Because Turkestan. I did that? Why did I do that? I gotta say, it's been crazy that this war has been in a stalemate, you know what I mean, for so long, particularly also the one over here. But just. This is the stupidest war. The socialists of New England versus. <laughs> Afrofuturist Sony. I just. What the hell is going on here again? Well, I'm going to quickly take advantage of the fact that I'm at war down here because I can't do my new Russia focus while at war. So, 
take out Finland real quick, take out Turkestan. I don't know why they decided that. Why, why did I just, when did I go to war with these guys? I have no idea. Anyways. Yeah. It's gonna be, it's gonna really suck when I industrialize the steps. Holy crap, we're like, like Speedy Gonzales over here. Good, good heavens. Uh, you were easier to break through than Turkmenistan. Oh, delicious. I'm just more excited about getting more ships. Yippee. I got some Mosin Nagants. That's nice. Though, well, I appreciate the fact that you gave me your own rifles, but I'm pretty set with the Soviet Pew Pew Boomsticks, so I'll take those to myself. If I had a nickel for every new African Republic that had a crazy, magical leader, I'd have two nickels. Which is, uh, not a lot, but it's funny. It happened twice. And of course, we need... <clears throat> A wonderful new capital for our king. Uh, no, the other guy, Vladimir the <clears> Third. <throat> so, to do such, we shall pick the wonderful city made for new traditions, where the revolution started. Irdersk. Boom! I knew it. I know it. No need to thank me. I'm just saying it'll be a great new cap. It's not my capital, man. What the heck? What the heck, man? How about Novosibirsk? Oh, well, there you go. So it's at Irtusk, and then of course it'll move in about five seconds to Novosibirsk. Yeah. Well, hey, I feel like this is a better spot. We can rebuild our capital glories from here. I mean, if we're truly a Eurasian Empire, we can't have our capital all the way in Europe. That would be forgetting our Transmer Japanese puppet roots, even though we kind of still are Japanese puppet ignorant. Yeah, if I'm going to be the truly wholesome base Soviet empire that I am, and in the home of the revolution here at Thursk, I am not going to have to do this, so sorry Japan, I'm cutting ties. It's not you, it's, it's me. I'm not really an authoritarian democrat kind of guy, I'm more of a schizophrenic kind of guy. Hmm. Well, I suppose I might as well get around to renaming a couple things. Let's see. Renaming Petrograd. Neva. Sankt Peterburg. Germany's enemy. Petrograd it sounds more patriotic. Uh, I think I'll keep it. Eh, you know, I guess, uh, Kerensky. We kind of don't like that figure. Eh, he kind of got rid of our king, our beautiful king, so I'm gonna rename stuff to goofy stuff. Mostly just because I think Zaritsyn's kind of funny. We still don't have cores in all of Russia, that might be a problem. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, that that's that name's just stupid. I'm <laughs> that, that that's just too goofy. Oh, beautiful, the Red Tsar triumphant. We are now the beautiful Soviet <laughs> Russian Empire. How lovely is that? I will even take the time to turn on desktop audio and unify Russia. Oh, that's the mix of the two. I know exactly what that is, that's funny. When Kolchak first fled to Transmere, he brought with him a manner of exiles who political beliefs were too much for normal Russian society. One group was the Young Union of Young Russia, also the Maldrosi. Professing a mixture of czarist monarchism and Bolshevik communism, the group was able to, able to come in power after Kolchak's... He's still here, guys. Following a bloody reenactment of the Civil War, now white, it kind of burns my eyes. I really wish we were red. Don't uh, judge uh, me. Oh, uh, don't mind me. I just, uh, uh, y you got every now and then. Don't mind me. I just decided I could go to war with our major powers again. You'd seen it a million times before. That flag is super sus. Uh, but I decided that, well, I'll leave it off of a bang by declaring war on a certain the pipe noise fell again i keep forgetting about that a certain uh i don't have naval supremacy what you what are you talking about do i need to send the entire the entirety of my uh my armed forces over here i got ships i got ships what's the problem sorry where was i right navy my super awesome beefy ships that are going to be hunted down by the turkish navy Great. Well, hey, at least my <laughs> thanks. The AI is actually just doing encirclements by itself. I didn't even need to do anything. So uh, we're integrating states. We're holding pro propaganda. I'm having a swell time. You know what I mean. And of course, 
Uh, I guess I could go to war with more people, but of course it would be more of the same. I'm practically the number one awesome super tower on this planet, and I've been playing for hours. So, <laughs> enjoy me taking Zahargrad. You, you sunk my ship. Now that is not fair. I am going to go full mask off. Let's go sh whole strike force thing. We're taking, we're taking these guys down. Hi, uh. High alert there, you know what I mean? Always engage. Oh, okay, now the ships fly. Oh, they're somewhere. They're somewhere. I'll find them. I'll find them. Uh, can I, can I take Constantinople? That is the question. Well, I think I can take the rest of the state. Oh, Constantinople. Fabulous. And, uh, yep, there goes the rest of the state. And that navy, you sunk my ship's whip. Well, I'm gonna hand that back. So, thank you so much. Appreciate it. And, oh. I was going to make a puppet, but oops. Well, there you go. Let me get to assimilate that. Yes. Do I get to name rename Constantinople? That's the one thing I want to know. Booyah. Anatolia. And uh, well, if I say that I want a new Turkish Republic, does it change? Huh. Well, I, I think I'd like that for myself, you know? Actually, in fact, I'll just... Uh, there we go. Uh, just imagine it as a straits commission or something. See, we're still nice. We give him a state. I, uh, I think. Oh, one last thing. Make our own faction. I'll leave it off of that. Come on. Where's that event pop up? Oh, Gian Coast. Now, keep that. Moscow Court or Fourth International. I feel like that'd be too funny. Oh. That's... That's rough. All right. Thank you so much for watching. The Moscow Accord rules supreme. Uh, I think I could easily take the rest of the world out, especially since they're so occupied with the rump state over here of France. I guess uh, the whole British catastrophe wasn't exactly the most helpful thing, but, you know, I still have a bigger industry than good old Willie over there, so... Thank you so much for watching, I appreciate it, and make sure to like and subscribe, or Alexander Gazenbeck will stare at you, and then when you when you open your eyes, he'll quickly hide, but when you close them again, he'll, he'll be there again, so it's, it's like a thing, it's like an SCP. I think, I think Alexander Gazenbeck is an SCP, I don't, I don't really think labor monarchy is a real thing. I would like to give a very warm welcome to all my patrons, Moonwalking Roosevelt, thank you, Aaron Munya, you're the bomb. Nine. Oh, this guy's great. Player unavailable. Oh, I gotta love him. A Tony Ed Law. This guy's one of the premiums. And casual. Oh, casual. Yes. Thank you so much, and I'm glad I was your entertainment for this evening. Adios.